California introduces a bill making rideshare drivers employees. Uber launches a new app with loads of new features and drivers want more features to feel safe. It's This Week in Rideshare News. Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily and I'm broadcasting from my home today. Today's first story is a popular one. Everyone is talking about it. If you haven't heard, California is introducing a bill that would turn all drivers, rideshare drivers, into employees. Uber and Lyft are emphatically fighting against this. And if you've looked at your email in the past week, you may have received an email from them asking you to sign a petition telling you that your ability to drive may be in danger. If this bill passes, worker status will be based on a three-part test. If a worker fits any of these three different parts, they're considered an employee. In both Uber and Lyft's case, we would fall in here. From what many are saying, if the law were to pass, then drivers would be able to get paid more for their work, receive benefits, and other types of compensation. Many people say that this law will actually force Uber and Lyft to go bankrupt and that they are likely to leave California to prevent that from happening. However, both Uber and Lyft have been very expressive in stating that by this bill passing, the things that drivers care about the most would come under attack. Uber CEO wrote an open ed letter to the San Francisco Chronicle last week detailing his stance and stating that if this were to happen, that it would endanger the flexibility and, the, and other things that attracted people to Uber. Though Bill supporters say that flexibility is solely on the discretion of the employer and that has nothing to do with their bill. And so if Uber or Lyft wants to provide flexibility still, if drivers were to become employees, they can still do it. It seems to me that lawmakers in California want to make sure that the millions of people that devote their time to for rideshare are fairly compensated and protected. If Uber and Lyft go away here in California, there will be tons of lost and that's not good for anyone. For more information about this article, please see my link in the description. Amid all the confusion, Uber releases a new driver app. If you haven't looked at your app, there's a lot of new things coming your way. Let me read this list. First and foremost, there are going to be more notifications if you guys are on long trips. A scrolling feed of promotions before you go online. A new feature which allows you to automatically accept the next trip. A hands-free way to auto accept trips, especially if you're trying to reach a bonus. If a driver needs to cancel a trip, there'll now be a space where you can specify the reasons why, especially if you get into a dispute with the rider to respond with your side of things before the passenger will. Has your driver app changed? How do you feel about it? Let us know in the comments. Okay. Police in New York say that three men are responsible for over 40 robberies from rideshare drivers. They get into the rideshare driver's car, they ask to change the destination, and they ask to use the driver's phone where they will either, they will transfer all of the money from that rideshare driver's account to their own, steal the, the rideshare driver's phone, and or threaten them bodily harm if they tried to stop them. If anyone asks you for your phone, do not give it to them. If you need to put in a new address, pull the car over and enter it yourself. Hypothetically speaking, if your state decided to introduce a bill that would make rideshare drivers employees, hmm, and you received an email from Uber or Lyft, asking you to sign a petition against that bill being passed, what would you do? <laughs> yes, this happened this past week and unfortunately we weren't able to cover it last week, but I'm really curious about those of you that did receive the email and what your thoughts were. If you're in California and you did receive that email, let us know what your thoughts were. And if, it, if you're not in California and you were in the same position that a lot of California drivers are, let us know if you would support the petition or not. Let us know in the comments. 
that's it this week. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to Harry's channel, please do that. Hit the red button below. There's a lot of tips and resources for you, drivers and gig economy workers. If you're curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can hit me up on Facebook or YouTube with any of your questions. If you have any tips or anything like that you need me to see, let me know. I'm here. <laughs> and as always, have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.